You still have people like J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon, uh, an outlier, sort of putting doubt in it. And he's calling the U.S. economic boom unbelievable, saying that even if we go into recession, the consumer's still in good shape. But he's warning that on the inflation front, we're headed back to the 1970s. That's what he told me back in January. Uh, he's still saying that. Yeah. He spoke yesterday uh, about U.S. policy at the Economic Club of New York yesterday. Your thoughts? Well, first of all, I should be shocked, right, because, uh, you know, he was dead wrong on the economy. He talked about these great clouds on the horizon. And we had to be concerned. So I think anyone should be surprised if you, Jamie. Um, and I get the idea that it's like the 70s in the sense that we do have right now a lot of turmoil in the Middle East. This happened in the 70s. Oil prices spiked. Uh, and that was a big problem for the economy. Remember back then we were oil dependent on the Middle East. Today we're oil independent. Um, so we saw prices basically beating out wages. And that was a big deal. You had what we called stagflation, slow growth, high inflation. Today, it's like the opposite. We have phenomenal growth. We're looking, we're tracking at like 2.9% for first quarter GDP. That's a really high number. And Adam's point, you know, employment right now, we're at a 50 year low in unemployment. Wages are going up and they're moderating. So they're not going up as fast anymore. Uh, so you're at a point now where even wage inflation is starting to moderate and you're starting to see wages outpace inflation. That's like the key thing mm -hmm. because everyone was talking about, well, for so long you had inflation beating out wages and that was a big problem. Now you're starting to see the opposite. And I always say you got to skate where the puck's going to be. If that continues, that's going to be a great trend for the economy this year. So I think it's kind of the same trend we've seen all along here. It's moderating inflation and wages strong, strong labor market. People are going to spend money. That's going to be great for the economy and the stock market.